holiday lights return to Manitowoc. And it's all for an absolutely incredible cause. And Emily Beyer joins us live in Manitowoc with more. Morning, Em. Good morning, Brooke and Fish. Hello, everyone. So we are here at 1434 Daisy Drive and it's Frosty's Festival of Lights. It is so fun to see it in person. You can see some of the lights going on behind us. You can hear the music, and it's all done by the hard work of Captain Jeremy Cronforce. You are with the Manitowoc Police Department. Tell us a little bit more about why you do this. The uh, main reason why I do this is I grew up uh, in Manitowoc, and we used to have areas of town that had a lot of lights. We had Christmas Tree Lane. Um, we had some other houses that kind of decked out. I just wanted to continue on the tradition. Sure. And then you were able to turn this and do it all for a good cause. Correct. Uh, I was able to turn this into uh, a way to raise money for Shop of the Cop program for for Manitowoc, Manitowoc County. Mm -hmm. um, each year we've been able to kind of increase our donations brought in, um, which helps us increase the amount of kids that we're able to help out. Sure, and that's so awesome. So I know you do this for the Halloween season. Obviously you've switched everything over for the Christmas season. Um, how much money did you guys raise for the Halloween season? Uh, just from our donation bucket alone, we raised about $880. Oh, um, wow, that's amazing. Overall, with donations that came in to the police department, um, it was a little bit over seven grand. Oh, my gosh, that's amazing. So that says a lot about this community. Yeah, it says a lot about the community. That they're willing to help out, and they uh, understand the cause, and they know the value of it. Absolutely, and I know we have some photos that you shared with us. Um, you guys just recently had your Shop with a Cop event. Um, you, fund you fundraise years year-round, but you guys were able to go and do that event with some of the local kids in the area. What was that like to get to experience that and see their faces as they got these gifts? Oh, it's it's a fun experience. We had it just this last Wednesday. Um, we were able to help all 25 kids this year, um, which is up from last year, uh, mainly due to the donations uh, raising for us. and. Uh, just seeing the faces on, you know, the smiles on their faces and that, the fun that they had, the fun that the officers had with them, yeah. um, is all worth it. Yeah. And it's really important for you guys, too, to also kind of create that, too. You guys um, you guys do a very difficult job, um, and sometimes it's not always the best circumstances that you're getting to see some of these kids. Right. It's Some of the kids are, you know, the families have fallen on some rough times and that. We're helping them out during the Christmas season. Um, but... It also gives them a night to just be kids and not to worry about anything. Yeah, absolutely. So, again, all for a really great cause. We have all the information for you on our website, NBC26.com, to make sure you come on down, make it, maybe plan a trip out of it. I know the Manitowoc Zoo is pretty cool to check out here, so you can come over there and then head over to Daisy Drive and see this in person. Brooke and Fish, we'll send it back to you guys. But, Fish, i got to complain about the weather a little bit. We're seeing this rain right now, oh. kind of putting a damper on my holiday spirit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, um, that's just what we have to deal with sometimes when we get into, uh, what are we, early to mid-December? Yeah, I guess that's, what can you expect? At least you can stay in your car and drive by that light show. You don't, you don't have to get out. Bingo. There you go. All right.